Okay, I'm back. I know that on the rerun of this, people will hear this part of me babbling. <laughs> no one's here yet. So I asked when I when I put this um, sky in, okay, if people wanted to see me put the sand in, let me know I have a sand recipe. Otherwise, I was going to just put it in myself and come back and do the ocean live. So I got a couple of messages. Yes, I want to see the sand. Okay, so I have a, a sand recipe that I use for sand. And I've already taken um, my, my, what I call my toss away sable brush here. Um, I got this brush and a, like a discount bin in an art store. I used this brush to mix my little pots, uh, mix my little spaces here so that I can make my sand recipe. Oh, what did you know? My phone is going to ring. Okay. <laughs> Hope, hopefully I'm back. So I have a, a box that I call my ocean box. Yeah, there's tigers on the front. I'm going to spray paint that. But I started, um, you know, putting my, my ocean box together. So this is my box that I go to when I'm going to do beach scenes or I'm going to paint ocean. Now, I don't have my, um, my four, uh, oh, my five or six new blues in here yet. <clears throat> anyway. Okay. Let me see if we can get organized because I never paint this way. And of course, every, everything is a challenge. So I've managed to get a few sand recipes mixed up. This is my mixing brush that I mix with. This is the brush we're going to paint. This is what I'm going to show here. Um, <coughs> this is my Da Vinci Maestro um, 35. And if you've been watching me for a couple of days, I don't know, you may be tired of hearing it, but I love this brush. Okay, so I'm still testing it on a big sheet because um, I want to buy a couple more but I don't know what size to get since this is a 10 you know it's giant right this is a 8 of another one so um, you can see I don't know whether to get really tiny of Da Vinci's or not um, anyway okay let's go on I have sand <coughs> so some people wanted to see this and if they don't come back in um, while it's on let's see what happens after okay so I'll try to stay in the viewer um, here bear with me because I'm trying to figure out what's the easiest way for me to... it's so hard to stay in the viewer I need a better setup I'm gonna do this more often huh and I've watched some people do theirs and hey you know whatever works that's kind of what happened Okay, so I'm over here mixing up some um, some sand recipe, and I have some paint on the brush, and I'm going to start down here, and I'm going to put it in. And some people are probably going to just sort of have a spasm over pushing the brush this way, I think. Um, I've seen some people who only use the tip of the brush to do some things, and I've seen um, some instructor folks who uh, smash the living daylights out of it. So I'm confident in it that you know by by paying for it <laughs> that hopefully um, it it performs some actions. Um, I have seen some pros who really abuse their brush. How often they have to buy one, I don't know, but I guess I'm going to find out. Um, I was kind of hoping, let me move my water here, that I could, uh, you know, do what I do and I'll see, see how long it lasts. Now my water is far away from my paint, so... It's not the most ideal setup, but in order to get on the the camera bits, then, you know, that's why I am set up the way I am. Okay, so I'm, I'm wet on dry. 
um, you can see how the tip comes to a tiny point there and I am able to put a line in there which is something I could not do with my flat brush. Normally I'd put this in with a flat brush. I have mops but um, the mops I have are really pretty and nice to look at. Um, didn't have as much luck painting with them. They just seem to suck up a lot of paint and I ended up mixing paint most of the time and um, <coughs> not getting a lot on not as much as I'd like to get on. Um, so I keep going to my special sand mix and picking up different hues of sand. I have a reference photo that I'm not looking at, so you know, <laughs> that's always handy, right? Yeah, I have the reference photo, Alicia, but I didn't bother looking at it, so. Um, I am imagining in my mind um, this place. This is uh, Hunakai Beach in Kahala. And we have snorkel with hair on many, many occasions. So I know on a hot summer day, or even a day like today, which I know is January, but uh, still warm. So I know that the feel that if I was to be standing on this beach, what that would feel like. So look at how tiny I can get down there. I don't have to switch brushes. I don't have to um, really mess with it. I'm going to come right up against the greenery here, which is what that is. And I'm going to fill that in with the tip here brush which is still flowing very nicely I, I keep sticking it in water it's old habit and um, I have to learn not to do that and I'm gonna put in some paint because mm -hmm. I want to put some some sunshine down here too some heat heat on the beach and then this is where it's gonna meet here And um, very light pencil line of where my sand is. And uh, out that goes. Okay. So that is the sand formula. So you see this extra little stuff that I can do with this brush? Like just keep touching it. If I did that with my, my flat brush, um, trying to wash in my sand here, I would have streaks everywhere and lines. So I'm finding that the very softness, soft nature of this brush, of course, is um, giving me the opportunity to touch this a few times, whether I should or shouldn't touch it, um, is beside the point. Um, <clears throat> but it's allowing me to not if it affect the, um, the things I've already put down. Now these paints are um, M. Graham paints. I don't have Mission Gold in these colors yet. I have M. Graham paints and that's what this is. I got natural light coming through a window there. You're catching some of the shadow of my phone holder. I'll try to turn on the light of my head. So, big brush, 10. This is 10 by 14 arches block. Um, let's see what it looks like with the light on. I don't know if you can see those that way. Cross and down. So that's the initial uh, sand. <coughs> the spot you'd walk on. Um, there's some magic that happens at the shoreline here where you actually see some sand under the water as you, um, look from this distance. 
So I'm going to go ahead and put my um, my little underwater peekaboo sand, I kind of call it, in. And then I will come back live to put in, in the ocean. I'm going to put my peekaboo sand in. And I'm going to take care of my mountain up here and my greenery. And then when I go to put the uh, ocean back in, then I'll come back live. So um, you can see how the sky dried. And I did a bad thing up there. I'll confess, I touched that with my brush after I turned the video off. And you never, ever, 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 ever try to fix your watercolor. Just let it go. And when I did that, some stuff happened up there. So trained eye might be able to see that. But overall, it... It still worked out. See how, like, this little bloom that's happening here, or this dry piece. That's just because I have a divot in the paper. And it's arches block. And you try not to get it. You get what you get. So later I can always put another glaze layer over that. That's what I've got so far. There's some sand. So you should be able to feel the heat of the sun um, under your feet and on some sand. All right. Let's see what happens. Um... When I come back, I hope someone joins and I hope you're watching in the 24-hour replay. Let me know what you think.